Today, we are going to test the limits of just how redneck can you be and still keep bees. So this morning I was making my rounds, checking on the bees, kind of doing the experimental test hive, or the experimental hive checks. And everything's going pretty well. The Lake Town Hive, the hive in the pond, it's doing okay, they're slow growing. Um, the concrete hive at home is doing well, but this uh, redneck igloo hive has surprised me. They're doing really well. They are packed, completely filled. There's no empty cells. So I think it's time to go ahead and add the second box. And I was worried that we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't need the second box because this was just a little two framer that is now filled completely seven frames. The eighth frame that's in here, they've not touched it. I think it's because it's so close to the opening and the opening is perpendicular to the way the frames run versus a traditional hive. So I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna take it out because one, they're not using it and I think it's crowding them just a bit. So I'm gonna take out this one frame that they're not using and I'll throw it in the top. So we'll just run sevens instead of eights, which I don't think is a problem. But this thing, I mean, every single gap is packed. now. One negative thing that I've seen today going through this hive is there were a ton of small hive beetle larvae that were sandwiched between the reflectics and the top of the frames. There's, there's something I didn't get quite right. The beetles have room to breed and live and feed, uh, but the bees don't have, are too big to get in there and, and uh, kind of defend against them. I killed all the ones I saw, but there's still a few. I didn't see a single hive beetle though. So it's almost like they can live in their larva state, but not uh, in their kind of their full grown state. So this thing is packed. We're gonna go ahead and put on the upper decker. And this, we'll, we'll utilize Reflectix here also just so they don't propolize them together. This one is custom made to go between the two sections. I don't even really know if this is necessary. We'll put it on here this time and when we check it next week, we may decide to pull it off. Now, if you'll remember from the build video, let me pull the frames out of this guy. She's a little unusual. We've got the two holes going to the bottom and there's about a four inch tunnel that the bees will have to navigate. How did I build this? Oh yeah, this one just sits on. The bees will have to navigate in order to come up to these top frames. I don't know that they'll do that. Hence why we call this an experiment. The queen, I don't even know if the queen can fit through that little shower drain opening that's in there and that's fine. If that works as a queen excluder and we just use the top box for resources, awesome. But we'll see, they may not want to go up that far because there's a good four or five inch gap between the top bars and where the bottom of these new deeps will rest. Now we've got a little bit of a mixture of equipment here. We've got some naturally dr fully drawn frames. I've got a completely empty foundationless frame. We're gonna checkerboard them in. This one, this one has a plastic foundation. So we're literally gonna have a mixture of everything here. And this is not scientific. This is just what we had lying around. And so that's what we're gonna use. This could be a colossal mistake. 
or just a huge waste of time and money. But you don't know till you try. Now, the, uh, the, the redneck ice chest hive has been done before. I am aware of that. But I can say with a fair level of confidence that this is the world's first fully engineered double-decker ice chest beehive. Oh God, I just, I feel the patriotism running through my veins. Fourth of July is coming up. This just feels right. So we will reassemble. I think it's good. The uh, the seventh frame from the bottom, or the eighth frame from the bottom that was uh, not doing much, had some bees on it, so now they're up top, so that's good. Hopefully that will bring the others in. Oh, forgot my inner cover. So one thing I noticed that's not working out so well is my uh, my dry erase board thing here uh, it took on some water and then she swelled and not in a good way so it's uh I think it's fighting me a bit please ignore the comment I made earlier about being engineered poorly engineered but engineered nonetheless Okay, that ain't too bad. God damn, the spider web, you nasty. Oh my God. I felt like cutting through a damn sheet. It was so thick. Oh, I see it. I'm like Indiana Jones, just with a spider problem. Dude, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna go get a bungee cord. I ain't messing with that nasty bastard. Okay, well, that's that. We, uh, we got a happy, healthy hive of bees, um, giant arachnid, and a poorly engineered double deep honey super. Yep. Aha. Nothing says redneck better than a nice set of bungee cords. The cheap ones too at that. Oh, they're too big. They're too small. That's perfect. Jesus. Oh wait, no, they'll fit right there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. One of those. Dang it. We're gonna have to do the, the triple link, huh? That's fine, that's what I wanted to do. Easy. Shoot. Hell yeah. Ta da! God damn, she love. Get out of here. Thing is nasty. 